welcome to our plet vlog. We have started at the plet puzzle park and I'm really loving it. I can't show you because I can't, I don't want to give it away, but there's a whole bunch of puzzles on here already just as you walk into the cafe and it's so much fun. Then you can sit outside and play garden. There's giant games and board games you can rent. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of puzzle things here. And we haven't even entered the actual puzzle park yet. I'm excited. It is really cool here. Yeah. We haven't even like entered the puzzle park as in gone to do the mazes or anything. We were so hungry. We just came straight to the cafe first. We shouldn't have done. We shouldn't have done because... Because you, you can, if you, if you do a certain number of puzzles in a certain amount of time, you get a discount at the cafe. Yeah, maybe we can have another something yeah. after we win. <laughs> um, so anyway, so there's a whole bunch of like cool games and stuff out front and even like you can play tic-tac-toe at your tables. But Byron and I were just playing four in one, which he beat me, which sucks. But... But I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> in the maze we have our blue discs and this is not a disc what is this it's like a oh it's a pyramid but i can't remember it's like the long pyramid What's well we have our, our blue stick disc thing and we need to find our way out now so there's some riddles and basically there's a lot to do i'm so excited let's go maze like we've been up and down and up and down and up and down and just when you think you've come around the right corner it's a dead end but it's like it's very cool that it is 3d that is not just flat you're going up and so yeah. you can look at the maze and say ah, that's I know, where I need to be go. and then you go under the bridge and then it's like nothing yeah <laughs> but we have our last tokens look yeah look at us we got we got these now all we've got to do is make it back to the entrance oh we're done <laughs> Thank you so much. We got it guys. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> we are now going down to the forest walk. This forest walk is super cool. You get a bucket with a whole bunch of tokens and they unlock these boxes. And the boxes have puzzles in that you have to complete. And they're all like mechanical and <laughs> like have time watches. What's it called? Stopwatch. A stopwatch. And there's pressure and they're really difficult actually. <laughs> but fun. But fun. Might I just say Tams built the entire R by herself. <laughs> Well, Byron answered the questions. I was too panicked. To <laughs> oh, I didn't even know what the questions were. <laughs> this is so fun. This is so cool. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> so I know there's probably a lot of you out there that are just wishing, please show me some of the puzzles. I want to do something. So it wouldn't be fair to show you the puzzles now um, because it would ruin the fun of doing it yourself, which you should do. But there are a few like teaser ones that we can show you. Just quick word games that you can, uh, I don't know. I'm going to show you them really quickly. So. You're gonna have to pause if you want to figure it out if you don't see it immediately. Here we go. And there's actually a few more because I'm not, not going to ruin them all. So that there's a whole bunch more going up there, but those are the those are the teaser ones that you get for now. We are at Moss and Maple Farm Stall, <laughs> and we've just come to have some quick lunch, and also interesting note but they have a farm like an actual farm store farm store here on sunday is like a market so we missed that that was yesterday but you can still come and have some lunch <laughs> Mom 
for some apple. After having some lunch. Yes. And now we are on our way to the Taniqua Wildlife and Rehabilitation Centre. Lion! We are at Taniqua. Look at this marabou stalk. Or these marabou stalks. They're huge. Oh. And apparently there's a love triangle going on between these three. Very interesting stuff. and I'm super excited oh everything looks amazing so we'll show you around but we're staying in the captain's cabin Ooh, that's horrifying <laughs> and everything is like it's like being on a ship but not I and like it and it's got a lot of history yeah it's got a lot of history it's actually really sentimental I like it we'll show you around before you show <laughs> before we show you around I'm gonna just relax a little bit well Tammy, take some photos. I will be over here, sitting in the outdoor but indoor section, enjoying some coffee. delicious dinner mm. with with Philly and Daniela whom we 
You can't do that when I don't know what's in your head. <laughs> Had a delightful conversation for hours afterwards. How am I supposed to know what you were going on? About? I have an idea. Let's dump footage and go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. This is what it's going to look like. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful morning at Villa Villa Kula. Um, firstly, I just, I noticed while I, I was looking in the screen, but I'm loving these windows. <laughs> the decor here is so cool. It's like all antique and so, so, so cool. Wait, now I'm excited. I have to tell you about, I went to go wash my hands because I was feeding the donkeys. And then in the bathroom, it's like an old train station, uh, train station, train sink, like from back in the day. And it was so cool because you have to like press the tap and then water fills up into a bowl but then like there's no drain in the bowl so then you gotta like flip it back like almost like into the wall like you're putting the tray back of like an airplane table and then the water in the bowl goes into there and like drains out into there it's so super cool i'll have to take you in and show you the main point of this was to tell you that we're having the most delicious breakfast but yep. then i got excited and distracted what are you having Byron? the stack the stack and there's banana, there are eggs, well egg, bacon. Free like from from the farm. From the farm. Camembert. So that's a really cool thing. Avo. Yeah, delicious. Homemade seed loaf. Yeah, homemade jam. And then I'm having the French toast. So it's really, really delicious. And today we are going to go to Jakani. We're going to Birds of Eden and to the Name? Monkey Land and Monkey Land. to Landward Snake Park. And to Landward Snake Park. And then hopefully we can fit in a hike after that. So we'll bring you along through all of that. And some of my new best friends are chilling, letting me know that they need attention, which I'm happy to give. <laughs> Jakani, which is a sanctuary or a forever home for some wild cats. Um, these wild cats have been through a lot. They've been born and bred in captivity. Um, some crazy stories, like there's a lion here that's come from Egypt who was kind of raised in a guy's backpack and he was making money off of her at the markets. So all kinds of sad stories like that and now they are here in these enclosures and what's nice about these enclosures is that they are really big and spacious as, an, as far as an enclosure goes but they are cap, um, captive bred so I mean this is a lot better than what they've had before and Jukani doesn't encourage any touching or interacting or picture taking with the animals like nothing like that these animals are just free to go about and do what they want to do and we're having a walk around now with Andrew. of Eden which is so super cool there's literally just birds flying around everywhere um, and oh, man they've got a gorgeous home because they have a netting that it's like an axe is an aviary but this place is huge and there's trees everywhere there's ponds everywhere they're free to do their own thing they're not in little cages which is awesome to see I mean there's so many different kinds of species of birds I'm like walking around shocked so luckily I've got a little booklet 
and I can look and spot the different birds so I'm gonna take some pictures and then later in the blog post um, I'll write what I got a snap of wondering why they keep monkeys inside birds of Eden it's because that was monkey land we didn't do a, a vlog intro there <laughs> but anyway so they don't to so, clarify yeah it's two separate places next to each other next to each other but they're connected <laughs> so now we came back to Villa Villa Kula and we are walking through this forest path towards Lawnwood Snake Park it's yeah. so cool to have this just this yeah, nice it's walk right to connected. It's right connected. Yeah. It is connected. So you can just take this footpath path and walk from Villa Villa Kula to the snake park. And we had a great time with Mike. He knows his stuff. Oh my word. It's like so much information, but good information, good experience. Because we ask a lot of questions. We ask a lot of questions, <laughs> so come prepared so you can nail him with the hard ones. <laughs> but he makes it fun as well. It's like, yeah. Doesn't just explain it, explains it. Oh, he's fun got way. a lot of fun energy. You'll enjoy him. Yeah. Um, and now we picnic, and you can do a forest. Oh yeah, walk, yeah, you can picnic, you can do a forest walk, and, and currently staying at Villa Villa Kula, you can just do this walk back. <laughs> Sorry for stealing your yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I wasn't speaking anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> family so today is sadly our last day here but do not fear the vlog is not over we still have two places to go and explore today <laughs> Byron looks so creepy in their background over there but for now we're just gonna enjoy breakfast so enjoy breakfast with us
like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. This is what I deal with <laughs> on a daily basis. <laughs> you didn't see that. I love that. You didn't see that. I can't do it now. <laughs> Tell him well, to I can stop. enjoy it. The dam. <laughs> We're currently in Sisti Kama doing a pretty secluded hike along a coastal path to a lagoon. It is beautiful and Tams are somewhere there putting up stories. The world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free the way to what we thought was the mermaids lagoon went down a super steep path and we are on a little rock outcrop surrounded by water we can't get to the actual cove which is there so back up we go from a distance you can tell Mermaid's Cove and it's so nice like unfortunately we're just doing the hike passing through on the way to where we're going next um, so we can't like sit and relax here or chill or be in the lagoon <laughs> but I would definitely come here with a good book something to eat and spend the day here this is super relaxing so we found this on the beach, but I don't know what it is. If it's a shark or a catfish or a... I don't know. We walked past another one. Um, if you guys know what it is, please let us know. Um, but I wonder why there's two. Like, were people fishing and left them here? Or do they just wash up? This place. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We've come um, from the coastal route and now we are going back up the hike through the forest route. But there's just something to look at wherever you go. So we're late. We need to go to Hog Hollow and do some horse riding. But <laughs> it took us a lot longer because we stop and admire the view and take photos and then we realize we're 25 minutes late already. And we wanted to do the forest path but it's 20 minutes longer but we wanted to do it so we we're doing it and it's so cool you can see the ocean and if you can see it there as you're hiking and walking through like the forest running yeah but it's still cool so cool so cool Hollow, a little bit late but we arrived and our Tam has decided that it's time to redo her hair for no well, reason. I forgot that I need to wear a helmet but my bun won't fit under the helmet so I gotta try and fit my head in there. 
Okay. I think that's it. Ready? This is right. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> After a very insightful and fun time at Hog Hollow, there's a lot to talk about. Tammy will talk about it probably in stories or blog posts or... Anyway, we're at Nature's Way Farm Store for a quick bite to eat. Got the Nature's Way hot chocolate and there's... We have the problem of... There is so much nice stuff inside that... Oh, man. <laughs> Nature's way now. Thanks, Byron. Feeling better there. Byron's hungry. <laughs> um, and we are on our way to Tubinax. Look how cool. Oh, you can't see it now, but the mountains and the clouds. And it's a really cool day. <laughs> it's cool because it's chilly. It's cool because it's like nice weather. Nice weather. It's not sunny weather, but it's. It's currently half past three right now, and yet. Doesn't look like it. Mouth and rain. You know what the best part of being on your own road trip is? Cake for dinner. So this is actually the end of the vlog. We've already arrived at the next place, but this is this is the end of today's or well, this this vlog. We're still in the garden route, we're actually in Tsitsikama now, so we're heading towards the end of it. So we'll show you around tomorrow morning, tell you where we are, all of that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for joining us on this leg of the journey. Um, and as we continue towards the end of the garden route, we hope you continue to, I don't know, be a part of it. <laughs> so thank you and we'll see you tomorrow morning.